My name is Robert. I'm studying uh, sustainable building technology in the Mayo campus. It's a level 8 program which is a one-year add-on from the construction management and refurbishment and maintenance program. Um, there's a large emphasis on renewable energy technologies like um, biomass um, energy production, wind energy production, wave energy production, solar uh, energy. Um, there's also a lot of construction informatics which is using CAD and Revit software for generating uh, building plans um, design plans, but also designing buildings in 3D models in BIM in using Revit, which is where technology is going in the design uh, end of construction. Um, the course also involves the um, building um, energy systems, um, which allows us to analyse um, the energy usage and performances within buildings to look and put forward solutions to reducing the energy consumption in that building and to look at the feasibility aspect of whether or not it's financially feasible um, to incorporate new technologies into an existing building and how to do that. Um, this was a, a good follow-on from the construction management program um, which from first to third year a lot of those um, modules were a great setup for going into the level 8 um, with the construction technology gone from domestic building into commercial buildings. So in third year, our integrated project, um, we were given an existing building that we had to go and do a building survey for. We also then had to, from that survey, to draw plans for that building and sections through, through that building. Um, from that then we were able to generate quantities and estimates and put it together in a, in, in a, a, a bound book. Um, along with the project management element of it where we had to do um, critical paths and project management Gantt charts um, in a real world scenario for, for a real building um, that exists. In fourth year then for the project and dissertation which is a 20 credit module um, I took on an area of research that I was very interested in which was building information modelling. Um, this again is a, a new area of technology that, that the design is moving into which allows for buildings to be di designed um, in 3D rather than just in lines as would be done with traditional CAD. It allows for a um, smart way of designing buildings in that you tell the computer that that is a wall, it knows that there's a concrete block on the outside or brick as the case may be. Um, that it's got insulation, how much insulation, what is the thermal conductivity of that entire wall. Um, it understands the, the strength of that wall so you can run the structural analysis of it, you can run thermal analysis of it. Um, and so it was a very interesting area for me to be able to do my research on. This then led into looking at that from how it links into sustainability and how BIM has actually been used in sustainability to allow for visualisations to see um, how a building will actually fit into the environment, what sustainable credentials does it meet, um, having had that designed in a real world situation where you can actually see that visually in 3D. So the dissertation from the sustainability as aspect led into the project element um, which we were given a part of the Mayo campus to be able to put forward solutions for re renewable and sustainable um, energy solutions and the feasibility of incorporating some of those technologies into an existing and an older building like the Mayo campus was so it was ideal to actually use the existing uh, college campus for this scenario um, and so we explored different avenues, different types of insulation, external insulation, internal insulation um, and also renewable um, heat producing technologies like um, biomass, wood pellet, wood chip boilers um, and the feasibility of um, using um, wind energy in a place like the, the Mayo campus or water saving technologies or rainwater, like rainwater harvesting and reducing the amount of energy that's used within the campus. One of the main reasons I chose to study in campus is it was very local to me. Um, it's quite a small campus, everybody really gets to know each other and really help each other. Um, although there's four years in construction, everybody kind of knows each other across the four years and really helps each other out. It's a great way of uh, making friends. The lecturers also, uh, in the course that we're doing, really get to know you. They get to know you as an individual rather than just a number. And so they're always approachable, they're always available there to be able to go and talk to them. Um, the lecturers on our course also uh, from, from an in industry background, great wealth of knowledge, huge wealth of knowledge that was invaluable really in, in lecturing on this course. The Castlebar campus itself is located right in the town, 
it's very close to all of the amenities, the student accommodation, supermarkets, cinema, um, sports facilities. Um, the other things within the campus that really make the experience not just about academia is the clubs and societies but also the supports that are there um, with the councillor, the chaplain, the student union um, and all of your fellow students. It really does make for a wonderful experience being a student.